We just got massive Yu-Gi-Oh news and we're gonna be talking about it right now. What's up guys, we're back with another news video and this is a video that I did not expect to be making because we've got new releases coming out. I was expecting it all to be Battles of Legend, Monsters Revenge openings, stuff like that. By the way, we do have a video up today. This is a double upload today. I know it doesn't happen very often, but go check out that opening video if you missed it. It's a fun one and uh, it's a great set. And one of the reasons it's a great set is because it has awesome 25th anniversary rarities. So how about we get even more awesome rarities in the TCG coming up for 25th anniversary celebration? Now this might not come is a huge shock that we're getting this because 25th anniversary we got to celebrate but to me I'm honestly still pretty shocked because we never get cool products like this and what product am I talking about I'm talking about 25th anniversary rarity collection if you've never heard of rarity collection the OCG has had this for a while they have three or four different rarity collections I think it's three we've opened a few of them on the channel and they are some of the most fun sets to open because they have collector rares ultimate rares you know ghost rares all this crazy stuff in them that you could pull all from the same set and almost every card in the set has one of those rarities and yeah Yes, we just got one. So here, as you can see on the screen now, we have an update. So we're gonna go through this together and figure out what exactly we're getting. I haven't completely read this, but I do know that ultimate rares are involved, which is gonna be pretty insane. Let's see what else we get in terms of new rarities. Maybe we'll get some updated rarities or something like that. So in November, you can finally get your hands on two new card technologies that have only been available overseas until now. Two new card technologies, that's awesome. Okay, what are they? November, I thought it was September, but I guess November, that works out well as well. The 25th anniversary, rarity collection is a spectacular all foil set so i think it's usually five cards you get like uh four ultras and then you know with some rarity with 79 of the game's most popular cards that is what i want to hear each available in seven different rarities every 79 cards in seven different rarities you guys understand what this means every card in the set could be seven different rarities you know how exciting that is that's why i love rarity collection you can literally like get one as an ultra rare one time and then you're like oh wait now i can get that in any rarity i really like this card i'm super excited to try and pull in an ultimate rare or whatever other rarities there are and then there's two brand new which i can't wait to see here are the rarities super rares okay not that crazy so i guess it's not all ultra rares i don't know i guess it's supers minimum ultra rares okay not that crazy secret rares yeah i wonder if they're prismatic secrets i hope they are that'd be really cool but they might not want to take away from the uh you know, the Mega Ten, so they're probably regular secrets if I had to guess. Then we have more secrets, the Quarter Century Secret Rare, celebrating 25th anniversary. Okay, that's cool. We've gotten a few of those. A lot of people like those. I think they're pretty cool looking. Platinum Secret Rares. Oh, Platinum is back! We haven't seen these since the Mega Tens. These are very controversial rarities. A lot of people don't really like them. I've always thought they look really, really cool. I'm gonna pop up on one up on the screen right now so you guys can remember what I'm talking about, but they're like very shiny. They're kind of like pre-Starlight Rares, but they're in Platinum effect. Okay, I'm actually super high about that so there's gonna be 79 new platinum rares people are probably gonna be like are you kidding me platinum rares let's see what else so here's the new ones new prismatic style collector rares made with extra sparkle this is the same as the japanese collector rare technology previously available only in asia we are getting collector rares like in the ocg if you guys have not seen my ocg openings and seen some of the collector rares that we've gotten out of there they are absolutely absurd go check out my japan video we opened up a rarity collection and there's some really nice uh collector rares in there i think these might be the new newer version though which you'll have to check out a newer ocg opening that's exciting because the collector rares here are you know they're all right they're kind of cool the ones in japan are absolutely beautiful and guess what they're not just japan exclusive anymore we're getting them. i'm super excited what's the last rarity the new one new prismatic style ultra rares prismatic ultra rares raise 3d varnish effect same as the japan ultimate rare technology previously available only in asia Wait, so these are the ultimate rares. So they call them prismatic ultras. I think these are like the really shiny looking ultimate rares. So like the updated version. I am a huge fan of these. I had a blue eyes jet dragon that I posted on Instagram. Here's a picture of it. It's a very, very beautiful card. And it's not like old ultimate rares at all, but it is really cool and unique. So I don't know how you guys feel about that. Let me know down below what you think about these rarities that we have coming. Are you disappointed it's not the old ultimate rare? It's not like the middle ultimate rare with like the sparkles on the edge or anything like that? Or are you super excited for the OCG? I know it's a controversial rarity because when I posted my Blue Eyes Jet Dragon said it was awesome. I got a few negative comments like, ew, this is gross or this is stupid. I want the old ultimate rare. So let me know what you guys think. I want to see the consensus about these new ultimate rares. 
Personally, I'm hyped about them because I wouldn't be opposed to having the old Ultimate Rares back either because I think they're really awesome, but the new ones I'm a huge fan of as well. So I'm super excited for this. And the coolest part about this, guys, is that 79 cards are getting these rarities. This is gonna make searching for specific cards for me so hard. It is gonna be insane. I think you get one, like, usually get like at least one every box. So like, I guess 79 boxes, maybe we'll do a 100 box opening. That's gonna be crazy. November is gonna be awesome, guys. Hopefully these are like... Wow, that's gonna be like a $10,000 opening. Wow, that is expensive. Okay, wow, we are gonna be hurting on the wallet. So if you're excited for that, make sure to hit a like button, subscribe to the channel, cause that's coming up in November. I cannot wait to do that opening. That might be the most fun opening we've ever done on the channel. That includes like old school openings and everything too. I can't wait to see what's in here. Let's just keep moving on, I'm taking too long. Watch as your cards sparkle, shine, and gleam in rarity so luxurious that you will be the envy of every duelist. Oh yeah, I, I can't wait to be the envy of every duelist. Go into your next tournament well prepared for the competitive mainstays that can go in any deck, like Ash Blossom and Joy Springs, that's gonna be crazy. Ash Blossom, okay, no Ghost Rare in here, notably. Still no Ghost, Ash Blossom, or Starlight, very interesting. Nibiru, the Primal Being, okay, Effect Veil and Infinite. So that's like all the uh, hand traps are getting this. That totally makes sense that those are getting like those nice reprints. That's cool to see. What else can we get? Unlock the full potential of your extra deck with Baron the Floor. Wow, I literally sold my Collector Rare right before this. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. Borolo Savage Dragon, I mean, it's gonna be a different Collector Rare, so it's like kind of a different card. Uh, Warlord Savage Dragon, still really cool though. Fans of the anime will get a chance at attaining the Egyptian God Slime. Okay, that finally gets a reprint. So the Egyptian God Slime is like a $50 ultra rare. So it's about time that thing got a reprint. Where are the old school cards? I'm looking for some old school cards. And you can add some of the best spell cards in the game. Cards you won't want to miss like Pot of Prosperity. There's the Pot of Prosperity reprint, Triple Tack, and Forbidden Droplet. Those are all really nice stable cards. This is usually more of a staple set, but I'm expecting there's some like crazy old school card in here as well. And in a special twist, the structure of these packs is like like nothing you've ever seen before as each pack has a chance to get one two sometimes three of the new luxury rare technologies oh so it's i might not have to open order box i probably still will but i might not have to two super rares once you grow one with a one in four chance of being a prison wait one in four chance of it being either a platinum or a quarter century in every pack wait these are actually going to be like not that crazy to pull but there's 79 of them so it makes it crazy to get the specific one but in terms of like getting a crazy rarity it's one in four packs i'm guessing this will be a 15 pack box if we do it like ocg but maybe we do a 24 pack like we do i don't know we'll have to find out if we do tcg 24 pack ocg 15 pack i don't know this is going to be crazy either way and with a one in four chance that'd be like if it was 15 packs it'd be like four of them would be a platinum or a quarter century that's crazy then there's two ultra rares each of which has a one in six chance to be prismatic style collector rare or prismatic style ultra rare so if it's 15 one in six i'm guessing it's 24 based on these numbers because one in four goes in six times into a box so we probably get six of those platinum secret rares or quarter centuries and then one in six would go in four times so we get four of either total the collector rare and the ultra rare ultimate rare thing they're calling it ultra rare here i guess they don't want to offend people by calling it ultimate rare but they kind of did call it ultimate rare. it's like basically the same thing they have at least in the ocg so interesting to see that and with every card available and every rarity you can collect matching copies or mix and match the rarities of your favorite card oh my gosh this is huge news guys this is going to be so crazy this is one of the most exciting updates we've had in a very long time and we've had some crazy updates this year like this has been a really fun year in terms of the 25th anniversary but i can say without a doubt this is easily the best thing they've done for the 25th anniversary so far that includes booster boxes of the legacy things that includes 25th anniversary uh legendary collection that includes battles of legend with 20 different 25th anniversaries this has 79 new cards with high rarity guys 79 Okay, I think I've, I've harped on this enough. I'm super, super excited. Make sure to let me know down below. Are you hyped about this? What do you like? What do you dislike? I mean, if you dislike something here, I'm not gonna judge you, but like, come on guys, this is so exciting. Just let me know your opinions. I wanna see them. And don't forget, we already posted a video today. If you have not seen it yet, I don't want this to kill my other video. It probably will, but I'm so excited about this. We gotta post it. Go check out the Battles of Legend Monsters Revenge opening. We had a good pull, by the way. I'm just gonna say that. So go check it out. It will be in the end screen. And thank you guys for watching this. It's been awesome. I'll see you guys for more epic content tomorrow. Shout out to Tom Flow Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto D'Anda, Miss Cycle, America Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, and Undertai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, and Mimic Echo. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.